Hey Elvis, what's going on big boy? How you doing today, buddy? Of course, Elvis is an amazing animal, and this enclosure is a decent enclosure. I mean, it could live its entire life in an enclosure like this. It's actually six foot deep. It's got lots and lots of room. It's got different terracing. It's got some water features. But the truth is, I do want to actually upgrade a lot of enclosures. In particular, a water monitor loves to swim. Now, we take him out and let him swim in the ponds. He actually goes in the turtle pond by himself all the time. But, you know, we have a lot of upgrades that we want to do. That's part of the reason for the expansion. And we're always thinking of that type of stuff, right, Elvis? What are you doing, buddy? You being a good boy today? He is such an absolutely incredible animal. And you guys know that we let him just kind of crawl around the zoo probably an hour or two every day when we get an opportunity. So he not only enjoys his enclosure, but he gets the whole run of the zoo. But the truth is, is that we want to make an enclosure similar to Ivy's enclosure for Elvis, where he has a swimming area, he can go swimming and stuff like that. He's such a special animal, so to have that as a showcase is going to be amazing. But again, Elvis could live his whole life in an enclosure like this without having any issues. But the truth is, we do have a lot of animals that do need upgrading that cannot live in their enclosures. So I wanted to kind of take you through that today and show you what we're we're planning on doing in the expansion and the fact that we probably won't need many more animals because we have to upgrade so many that we have here. And you know, as animals are growing, they're gonna need larger and larger enclosures. That's just how it is. Night Fury has a really nice enclosure right now. You can see I ha it has plenty of room right now at this size for sure, but you gotta remember it is a reticulated python. And even though it's a male, it's probably still gonna get, you know, 12 to 18 foot long, right? So right now he is completely fine and good for probably the next year or something like that in this enclosure, but he will eventually need an eight foot enclosure, you know, eight foot by six foot by four, or eight foot tall, something on that line. Most likely almost all the enclosure we're building in the Reptarium expansion are gonna be floor to ceiling. We're probably not gonna have too many short cages. So he will probably get an eight foot by six foot by eight foot tall enclosure one day. And he's gonna look absolutely amazing in it. And even when I started getting a lot of the animals here at Reptarium 1.0, 2.0, 2.0, I knew we were eventually gonna have to expand because not all the animals could stay in these enclosures forever, right? Beetlejuice right now is great in this enclosure. He's got lots, tons of space. And of course he was a little tiny baby when we first got him, but he's getting big. You gotta remember, it's the second largest monitor lizard in Australia. This can get, you know, five plus foot long. It's not gonna be able to stay in this enclosure for long. You know, I mean, maybe another, again, eight months, year, you know, something on that line. And it's gonna need a large enclosure. So just like Elvis is gonna need an upgrade, Certainly Beetlejuice is gonna use an upgrade. And again, it will have a floor to ceiling type enclosure that we can walk into. Because I think with monitors, it's actually really gonna be important to be able to get in their enclosure and spend time with them to keep them very docile. Certainly Beetlejuice is super good, but he does have some pretty big daggers for claws. There's no doubt about it. So if we can get him really comfortable walking around on the ground where people can pet him much like Elvis, I think it's a great opportunity, right? But a large enclosure is gonna be needed to make that happen. And of course, Oh, I said someone did a little flopper. Of course, we're gonna need a large enclosure for my guy RJ here. You know, he's gonna go into a 20 foot long enclosure. So he's gonna have lots of space. He's coming back over to say hi to us. And I tell you, I have a different appreciation for crocodilian since this last trip down to Florida with uh, Chris Gillette and obviously all the people from Gatorland and obviously meeting up with Crocodile Kyle and all kinds of stuff like that. It's really interesting how I kind of have a different perspective on it. Can't wait to get RJ into that giant enclosure where we can interact with him on a much different level than we interact with him now. So again, he's uh, he's done well in this enclosure for the last couple years, but he's definitely needing an upgrade. Cannot wait to not only have that upgrade, but also so everyone that comes to Reptarium can see how amazing this animal is. Remember guys, if you go to reptilearmy.com, if you get any merch for the extended period of time here, I'm gonna be giving you a personal video thank you. So again, we have all kinds of new designs. We're gonna have some new stuff dropping sometime in January as well, but the Christmas and holiday designs are still available, not to mention all the back catalog. So you can go over to reptilearmy.com, get some cool merch, and get a personal thank you from me. Of course, we have a lot of animals over here at BHB that are gonna be going over to the Reptarium pretty soon, but we'll need larger enclosures as they go. Neo, the motley golden child pied retic that's just starting to shed and still looks absolutely amazing, will actually come over to the Reptarium pretty soon in a smaller enclosure, but again, it's a pied reticulated python. It is a girl as well, so she's gonna probably get you know 15 plus foot long, so she's gonna need a big eight foot plus enclosure. So I can't wait to get her over there so people can enjoy her so much. But the fact is, is that just getting over there is 
isn't enough. We're gonna have to expand, and that's my whole point about this vlog is that, you know, the truth is we're expanding, almost doubling the square footage, but I don't know that we can add that many more animals because the animals that need upgrades and the animals we have that are gonna be going over there that are at BHB now are gonna take up a lot of that expansion. Obviously, salt and pepper are getting big. This enclosure was great for them when they moved in, but they're fastly outgrowing it, and there's no doubt that we need a need for a much larger enclosure. RJ will get a big enclosure, so will salt and pepper. And right here is where that enclosure is gonna be. Starting right here, this will be gone. The gift shop is actually gonna be moved, and the enclosure will come all the way out to here and go to this wall and go all the way over. It's gonna be 20 foot long, so you're gonna have a gigantic, from here to the wall, 20 foot long for salt and pepper, and then another one that's almost 20 foot long for RJ. So this entire area here that's now the gift shop and a couple of the animals over here like Helen will be replaced. And actually, again, this wall, you gotta remember, this wall here is gonna be pushed out 20 feet, right? So that is where RJ is gonna be on that side or salt and pepper, one or the other. I'm not sure exactly which one they're gonna go, but it's gonna be really amazing to have all of that extra room. But again, you, know, you can start to see how, you know, lots of large enclosures, lots of kind of moving animals into bigger habitat you know, kind of refining things. So don't get me wrong, we're gonna be doubling the square footage of the zoo, but a lot of that is gonna be taken up with just increasing the size of the enclosures for the animals we already have, and then also putting the animals that we have at BHB over into the new large enclosures too. So uh, it's, it's still a work in progress, but it's gonna be absolutely incredible. Absolutely in love with Marshmallow. I mean, look at how incredible that snake is. Of course, that's an ivory Burmese python, but what did I say? It's a Burmese python. So right now, you know, five foot, maybe five and a half foot eventually going to get you know 12 to 15 foot as a male could even get a little larger some males can get 16 17 foot so obviously the enclosure it's in now is great but it's going to need a larger enclosure and that is the goal of the new reptarium expansion is to every animal that we have have these absolutely massive enclosures that are going to be great for them with heat gradients with opportunities to climb to do all that type of stuff really great to view but also keep the animals happy right so marshmallow is going to eventually get big and it's going to definitely need a giant cage one day and i am planning on doing that for every animal we have not only the animals that are here now but the animals that we add on you know making sure that their habitats are actually you know really stepping it up i mean to the point where you know it is absolutely amazing so uh we got our work cut out for us there's no doubt about that i tell you what these sanzinia the madagascan tree boas are looking amazing and again i can't wait to get these over to the reptarium we may be able to put them over there before the expansion because these guys don't get really large i mean they max out at you know six foot something on that lines and then not that much so they don't need a giant enclosure but they certainly need a tall enclosure so they can go on the ground and go way up into the tree so these will definitely get an eight foot enclosure at an expansion it probably won't be a gigantic enclosure but it'll be big enough so that they can move around and get that gradation but wow what wonderful animals these are going to be an absolute hit when they get over to the reptarium for sure i mentioned getting a chance to film with sam down at florida iguana and tortoise and camp Kennan, and the fact that it really changed the way i thought about the, the tortoises and stuff like that you know I've been doing the best I can do but we need to do better right you know and obviously we've talked about giving these guys a much larger enclosure you gotta remember Matilda's gonna get two maybe even three times the size and we want to give her a giant enclosure that is gonna be really cool I've already gotten in my mind I've talked about it on the vlog before but I mean she's gonna get something that's probably three four times the size she's in right now have a big water feature in it so she can climb in the water spend time that way we don't have to take her out and soak her or wash her off she can actually go in by herself but it's gonna take up a lot of square footage at the expansion there's no doubt about it but totally worth it of course hiccup the snow blind water monitor is just a little monkey right now but it's going to eventually get big it's a water monitor so it's going to get the size of elvis of course just like toothless toothless already has a giant enclosure so it's pretty much set this one's going to need just as big of an enclosure at least eight to ten foot something on that line with lots of water features and lots of climbing areas it's an absolutely beautiful animal but i take the responsibility of caring for animals like this extremely seriously obviously it needs a large enclosure in the future right now it's fine in the enclosure it's in but it's going to grow pretty quick in the next two three years it's probably going to be five foot plus right so it's going to definitely need something big so we might as well build it something big now in the expansion so that it can live the rest of its life that way and be happy but man i tell you what, i'm in love with this animal like i've been mentioning a lot of animals over at bhb that are going to come over the pair of diamond pythons will certainly be one of them and they are so amazing but these are again an arboreal animal so they like to climb a lot so they're going to have to get a really tall enclosure at the new expansion and uh, they are just 
absolute rippers. I mean, these animals are from that northeast part of Australia, New South Wales, and they can actually get down to, to the low 40s, believe it or not, in the wild, which I find absolutely amazing that a python can live at that type of temperature. But uh, they are incredible, and they're going to have a great spot at the new reptarium. King Tut is actually our Egyptian Euro Mastix. He's actually here in the offices at BHB being cared for by uh, the office help, and they love him, obviously. And they love all the animals that are up here, but the truth is it needs to go over to the reptarium sometime because this is the largest species of Euro Mastix. One day can get about three foot long, and they're typically puppy dog tame, just like King Tut is right here. So he's going to be really cool. Doesn't need a giant enclosure by any stretch, but we're going to give him a decent sized one that uh, gives him all the room that he wants for sure. These guys want to have about 130 degree hotspots, so uh, definitely a pretty specialized enclosure. There's no doubt about that. Can't wait to get him back over at the Reptarium because he's just so darn cool. <laughs> My goodness gracious, these are getting large. This, of course, is the, the patternless rock python, and we have a het patternless rock python too. Now, unlike some of the other animals here at BHB that are going to need decent sized cages, these are going to need giant cages. I mean, African rock pythons are the largest snake on the continent of Africa. They can get literally 17, 18 plus foot long big body snakes like a retic or a Burmese python. So these guys are gonna need giant enclosures. And my plan is to probably put both of them in one really large enclosure. And eventually one day we may breed them. I'm not 100% sure if we will or not, but they will be great display to see that patternless one and then the wild type looking one as well. But again, these will not have a small enclosure. They will have a giant enclosure and they need a giant enclosure. My biggest baby here. What are you doing, sweetheart? We talked about the fact that we fixed Brillo's enclosure here a week or so ago. By the way, it's working fine. It doesn't seem to be scratching, trying to get out or anything like that. He's still scratching, but now he just can't actually break his way out. But the fact is he's going to get a much larger enclosure, much like the Matilda thing. We're going to do an enclosure similar to that. That way he can run around. People can actually access him from the top so he can come over for pets and have a lot of interaction, stuff like that. So it's going to take a lot of space to actually have Brillo, but it's so worth it because he is such an amazing animal and people love him so much. What are you doing, Brillo? Brillo, you can't scratch my face, you silly monkey. So uh, I can't wait to actually work on that. And I'm glad that I got a little cement work behind me so that I can actually make his enclosure when we expand too. So uh, he's going to be so happy and I'm going to just play with him for the next 15 or 20 minutes because he looks like he wants to stay out here and have a little bit of fun. Look at this ripper right here. This is a Suriname red tail boa. Of course, we have Cupcake, the BCI or boa constrictor imperator, which is basically a common boa, but we're definitely gonna put some red tail boas over at the new Reptarium as well. They do get really large and they're just so absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited for people to see the difference between this BCIs and the BCCs because uh, there is a pretty major difference and these guys are incredible, but it's gonna need a pretty large cage. These will get 10 plus foot, right? So it's gonna need a pretty large enclosure and you can kind of see what I'm starting to talk about is the fact that lots of large enclosures, animals we already have that are slated to go over to the Reptarium, and uh, I don't really know how much more space we have. Is it weird to say that we haven't even started the expansion and I'm already out of space? So as you can see, even though we're doubling the square footage of the Reptile Zoo, the fact is is that we're pretty much getting close to capacity in a way, right? I mean, just by moving animals up, bigger enclosures and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, we're gonna be able to add some things. There's no doubt about it. It's not like we're 100% full right now, but it's not like we have as much room as people will think when we're doubling the square footage. It's just a matter of upgrading a lot of enclosures, bringing animals that we already have over, that we've had the opportunity. I mean, when you get an opportunity to buy Sanzinia, you can't say, oh, I wanna wait a year. You have to buy them and get them because they're hardly ever available. And then knowing that I'll eventually put them at the reptile zoo. So it's gonna be a fun process process to actually do all these new enclosures and see the animals move into bigger enclosures and see animals from BHB move over to the Reptarium and see how they kind of, you know, habituate to this type of environment. It's going to be fun, but I wanted to share with you guys the vision of what's going on so you guys don't think that
that we're just adding twice the animals that we already have because uh, in a way we're adding things but not like that we're really making larger and exhibits and, and making the animals even happier and we'll be able to bring all this stuff up some PHP and a few other things in and so on like that it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing journey I wish it was starting tomorrow but we have to just do our due diligence it's gonna take another several months before we get going but uh it's exciting guys it's really exciting and by the way if you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the whole thing about building the Reptarium and so on like that here's a playlist of us actually building the Reptarium can you do me another favor on this side you can hit that subscription button it would mean the world to me have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you in the next one